Am I the asshole? For confronting a gym trainer who was discreetly trash talking me to his client. I am a Caucasian individual. Born and raised in a Chinese speaking country. In my country, it is common for non Chinese people to not speak understand the local Chinese dialect. Relying on English as a lingua franca. However, I can both speak and understand the local Chinese dialect. I was in the gym deadlifting 180 kgs. There's a gym trainer trainer five meters behind me training an older Chinese lady. The lady asks trainer in Chinese what's the point of him lifting so heavy. Trainer replies in Chinese with nothing. His body doesn't even look good. He's young so he can do it now but he will regret it in the future. His joints and bones will hate him. They then both begin to talk shit about me in a contemptuous tone loudly in Chinese. All the while I'm still only five meters away from them. I turned around and told trainer I hear you in Chinese. And the blood immediately drains from his face. He takes the lady away and they finish their session in another part of the gym. When the session is over and the lady leaves, I go up to trainer and confront him over what he was saying. And we have the following from memory conversation in Chinese. Me, do you have a problem? If you have a problem, you can say it to me. Trainer, no, there's no problem. I was only saying good things about you. She asked what was the point. And I said it's just something he enjoys and he can continue to do so whilst he's young. Me, that is not what you said. Stop lying to me. You were talking shit in Chinese thinking I don't understand you. Well, you can clearly see I understand Chinese. Apologize to me. Trainer, why would I apologize to you when I didn't do anything wrong? Me, you have disrespected me already by saying those things. And you are disrespecting me now by lying to me. If you don't apologize, I will lodge a complaint against you. I have taken a video of you saying these things. And I will show it to your boss. I lied. I didn't have any video. I was bluffing because I wanted him to stop bullshitting me. Fortunately, He got visibly flustered and the bluff worked. Trainer, look. I don't want our relationship to be damaged. If we see each other, can we still be polite to one another? Me, sure. If you apologize, you made a mistake. It was unprofessional to say what you said about me to your client. Be a man. Own up to your mistake and say sorry to me. And I will forget it happened. Trainer, I am sorry. Me, okay. Now walk away. At this point, trainer was shaking. Either from anger over being told what to do, embarrassment, or because of adrenaline from the confrontation. He walks away, and I go back to my workout. I told my family that this happened, and they all think I took it too far by confronting him at his place of work. By lying about the video and that I should have just ignored it. I can see that maybe the way I confronted him was not the best. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. Honestly, you did a great job standing up for yourself. That was incredibly rude and disrespectful of your former trainer. Not to mention just plain mean. Not the asshole. Probably should have just logged a complaint against them, but I think what you did was fine. You taught them two lessons. One, not to be rude to people. Two, don't lie to get out of another lie. I think you are right to confront them honestly. If they are happy to talk like that about a client, then they shouldn't be a trainer. Going to gym is a personal experience, they shouldn't judge that. At no point did I see you being rude, just being assertive. Also, nice deadlift. 
He was talking about you behind your back with a client thinking you did not understand. You did and called him out on it. Plain and simple. He was at work when he said it. Why shouldn't you confront him there? Hey. Lying about the video. I can get over that. He would not have apologized otherwise. And that is what you wanted acknowledgement and an apology. He was in the wrong and not professional. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. He was unprofessional and a liar. Good job. I get some and then everybody clapped vibes. This honestly sounds super fake LMAO. Not the asshole up to the apology. You're the asshole for the walk away demand after he already apologized. Esh people are going to talk crap about you every day of your life. Learn to let it wash over you. I think that you gave this too much attention and let it go on for too long. Not the asshole. He criticized your body. And it's likely because he was jealous. Also, the he is completely wrong. Deadlines are fantastic functional exercise when performed correctly. And they're called deadlifts because you're supposed to go heavy on them. Heavy resistance training with the correct form has numerous benefits. Even for the heart. Numerous studies have proven that lifting heavy weights is beneficial to all ages. As long as someone has the correct form. Lifting heavy is great. Good on you. Had me cheering for you up until okay. Now walk away. That last sentence made me cringe. Like you're playing tough guy or something. Esh. The trainer for talking about you assuming you couldn't understand him. But I feel like you're a much larger asshole for your lame alpha male attitude. The trainer was shaking. You told him now walk away. Grow up man. You're not the badass you likely think you are. Not the asshole but. You barely squeaked by. They're a huge R for talking shit about you behind your back. You were completely justified in confronting them but I think you took it too far and got a little. Aggressive. For me. Just knowing I called them on their shit and embarrassed then would have been enough. Forcing an apology was clearly a bit of a power move. If anything you should have just escalates it to gym management when he denied it. Not the asshole until the okay now walk away face vomiting so cringy. I was somewhat believing this story until we got to the part about how the trainer was shaking. And then OP said now walk away and he did. All that was missing was and everyone in the gym clapped. Not the asshole. He clearly needed the lesson of don't insult your customers where they can hear you. Even if you think they can't understand your spoken language. There's no real benefit if you're right and a lot of potential problems if you're wrong. In this case, the trainer is lucky that you just wanted an apology. You would have been justified in reporting this to someone in charge. There is nothing wrong with calling people out for this kind of thing. Speaking in a language he believed you did not understand made his actions all the more disrespectful. His client too it should be said. When you confronted him on his actions, a stand-up person would have immediately apologized. His lying only made him look small and weak. An apology is exactly what you should have gotten without demanding it. This sounds so made up lol. YTA for saying be a man. This is such a sexist bullshit phrase. Not the asshole. I'll be honest. The fact that he actually did apologize and ask to continue to be polite to one another tempts me. To say that no one is the asshole. However, the only reason he apologized is because of your bluff. Hopefully he will be true to his word and not let this sour your future relationship. But I don't see that happening. He was too proud to admit that he was wrong and he will be too proud to forget this ever happened. Not the asshole I would have done the same.